Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today I've got a Photoshop to show you guys, and what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at a selected glow. And I'll show you a quick example of what I mean. I head over to Google Chrome here, and it's this line going uh, on the modules on the background. You see that it's, it's like a gold, dull orange, and, and all of a sudden it comes in this luminous orange and it's bright and vibrant, and then it dies out again. And uh, that's only what I can describe as selected glow. Uh, I've got a few messages on how to do so, and I'm sure there's going to be other people out there who want to know uh, how to do it as well. Uh, so, obviously, I'm making the tutorial on this. Uh, the way I'm going to be doing it is is, is the way I like to do it. Uh, it gives you more control, I believe. Um, but it's it's not so much a feature or whatever. It's it's more or less general knowledge or you knowing of Photoshop and how to if, if you know what you're doing in Photoshop and you know your way around and everything uh, you probably should have no problem creating this uh, so what the first thing I'm going to do is going to make a box now this is going to resemble a module kind of typically on a YouTube background I'm going to change the color to black and I'll drag it out here and that's looking good maybe just center up a bit more there we go now obviously it's got the normal stroke on the module, so we're going to create this. Now you don't want the stroke to be too vibrant, otherwise you won't notice the vibrant colour in the middle. So we want it to be a kind of dulled down colour, a bit bland. I'll uh, zoom in a bit here. And so I'll go to uh, blending options and stroke. Obviously change the colour to whatever you want. Uh, I'll, use a, I'll use a green. Good old green. Uh, so I'm just going to try and find a green that kind of fits it. I'm going to change the size. I would say have one. Personally, I think one looks the best. However, uh, you might you might not be able to see it perfectly. So I'm going to put on two. And I'm going to change the position to center. And that's looking okay, I suppose. Uh, but there's, there's still nothing to it. It's just a black box with a green stroke. So you want to create that selected selected glow effect. So to do this, you want to make a new layer. And you'll need to go to the line tool. So click and hold on the rectangular tool that you just made and go to line making sure the weight is on one pixel up there and drag from the left hold shift so it stays in a straight line not too far like me uh, and end just at the end like so just so it covers the whole of the of the box or whatever you want it to cover and now what you want to do is you want to change the blending options of this obviously because it was on black I didn't change it beforehand I'll just go to color overlay and I'll choose a nice bright green there we go. And I'll out of glow. In fact, I won't have the outer glow now. I'll click OK. And as you can see, it's a bit off center. If I click off it there, you can see it's a bit below the actual stroke. So I'm just going to click up on the arrow once, and that should line it up a little bit better. And now, once you've got the color of the stroke, you just want to right click and rasterize the layer. And so that becomes a layer. You can't edit it as such, well, you can, but it rasterizes the layer. And now you add the outer glow. So just go to outer glow. And I'm going to change it to uh, the vibrant green that I just said. Change the blend mode to normal. Uh, so it doesn't miss out any of the colors or any of the, any of the, yeah, any of the colors. And you might not notice a lot of difference. So mess with the settings, the size a bit. Now uh, the, the spread, obviously. Lower it down a bit too harsh. Size maybe or a 20. See what that does. A bit harsh again, 15. I'll leave it at 15 so you guys can see. Obviously, mess about with it as you will, opacity, whatnot. Yeah, but I'm going to click OK, that's looking good for me. And we've got the stroke, that's looking all good, but how do we actually get it so, so, it, so it kind of selects and it fades out? Uh, you already rasterized it, so if you didn't do that before, make sure you have got a rasterized, otherwise, you won't be able to erase uh, like an auto shape layer. And now go to the rubber tool and eraser tool, and I've got the normal brush and the size is on I've got it on 411 obviously it depends on the size of your canvas you want it quite big and you want to make sure your hardness is on zero percent as well so click off that and I'm going to simply erase the edges make sure you double click or whatever just to get really in there because you don't want any random random bits of glow just just on your image or, or your graphics you don't want it to look too tacky and there we go immediately you start to see that it fades out using the zero percent hardness and it's bright in the middle and it fades out. It may not be exactly centered. I'll zoom out a bit. Uh, yeah, as you see, it's a bit off center, but nonetheless, you get the idea. Uh, you might want to line it up a bit better than that. And 
If you want to do it at the bottom, a lot of people have it symmetrical, obviously just duplicate it, Command J, Control J, and you can just drag it down or use your mouse or your keys. No, I use the keys uh, to keep it straight. I mean, I suppose you can hold shift, but you know, doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. But yeah, you know, that's how to create the selected glow. I uh, hope some people maybe learned from this. There we go. In fact, as you can just see there, I missed a bit of the erasing uh, there or so. And that is it. So that's how to create the tutorial, guys. Uh, that's how to create the tutorial. This is the tutorial on how to create that effect. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if it helped you at all or you're going to be using it. And that's all from me. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.